come from a long line of pipe salesmen. Yeah. Did this Kenny Wells, was this familiar? Very. I, my dad would take me on the road. Um, now, the oil business went under in like 82. And so he was trying to fight against going bankrupt. And out of his pride, he wouldn't go bankrupt, but he would take me on the road to go collect from people who owed him money. So me being a 12-year-old kid, it would kind of shame them in, and it worked sometimes. But I met these guys and saw my dad going through this, um, that wake up every morning, throw their legs over the side of the bed. Today might be the day. Today I might hit a lick, and they don't. And the next day they do it again. And they do it for a week, they do it for months, they do it for years. My dad did it for 10 years until he finally passed away. But there's a lot of people who, the Kenny Wells of the world, don't have that front door entrance to the American dream. They got to hustle and finagle and work their way in through the side door to try and get it. And sometimes you get lucky and make it happen. And Kenny Wells is one of those ones that he stuck it to the man and he's the underdog that made it happen. That's awesome. And you're a hustler. You even like put on 40 pounds cheeseburgers and beers for this role. Did Camille, did Camille love the extra curves? He did like the extra curves, man. So kids did too. Really? My nickname was Captain Fun during this time because I was saying yes to everything. And if pizza night's usually Friday night, pizza night was whenever the kids wanted it. It was like Tuesday night. Yeah. Wednesday night. Milk. Yeah. I was yes to everything. So they, they kind of miss it, actually. Welcome to my world. Yeah, it's a good one, man. <laughs> good one.